Hi everybody, I wanted to share this solo chicken dinner I got on Erangel uh, yesterday because I, I've been I've been challenged by PUBG in solo mode recently. It's been really difficult to get a solo chicken dinner, but I think maybe one of the reasons is I wasn't following my own guidelines of playing D23E, which is driving to the third circle and then playing the edge. I have been doing a lot of hot drops because I've been testing the net doom and stuff like this, but this is a, a real back to basics uh, D23E styled uh, strategy um, to, to win a chicken dinner. So this is the pubg.sh website where you can put your username in and you can watch a game. So without further ado, let me just slow this down a little bit to sort of 10 times. Let's see where the plane goes right straight away. So you can see the plane is a west to kind of southeast kind of direction going this way and that's good old me here oh by the way you probably want to watch this full screen <laughs> because i know the image isn't that 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 good but i'm the little kind of greeny turquoisey thing and so as soon as i know the plane was going this way my plan was to go to primorsk as it happens um let me zoom in a little bit things don't quite work out like that because as i drop down i there's no vehicle and there's a guy right with me. I see this guy here. To be honest, I don't think I see that guy. Well, lady, so as we come... Oh, no, it's that guy. So as we come down, he hits the road in front of me. I hit the road behind. But I know that there's normally a vehicle spawn here just west of Quarry. So I immediately just start sprinting that way. And lo and behold, there is a buggy. Um, right, first circle has appeared. So let's go back and just take a look at um, where everybody is. So again, you know, if you draw the line of the flight path across here we see we've got loads of people have dropped hot into south and north georgie someone's gone to zaki good call um lots of people on prim um they love it don't they um sorry is that prim no pachinki sorry um only one person rolls hot loads of people drop school <laughs> few people on milter full people on on um farm few people on milter tower nobody's got up to starboard nobody got to kaminsky one guy over on Lipova and as we can see so we've got a nice sort of middle to slightly west uh, circle so let's crack on see what happens next we'll zoom in a little bit and you can kind of see what I do so I jump into a buggy and head off to Primorsk hotly pursued on foot <laughs> by this chap so I basically got the whole of Prim to myself and then this guy I guess he's on foot he might pick up a vehicle there does he I don't know, but again, I'm just doing the warehouses, doing all these buildings along here. Yeah, he's coming behind me. Um, he won't have much on him, though, and he starts doing these houses up here. Um, let's speed this up a little bit. And then what happens is, when I, well, it's a bit weird because my buggy is parked by the diner here. So when, I, when the blue starts to come in, as it does now, I run back to get my buggy and literally as i jump into my buggy he starts firing at me bang 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 there he goes i've taken i'm taking damage and then so he starts firing at me about now so what i do is i drive up to this hill because i know he's deep in the blue there's no vehicles down there and i think oh silly billy so i drive up there i then stop here let's zoom in a little bit and then for some reason he runs out onto the beach area so i just kind of flat him my mini 14 i think and then i'm off Let's have a quick look at the blue. Right. So we've got... Where am I heading? So as you can see, we've got the second circle has appeared. People are starting to move in. Look at all those red dots, all those dead bodies. Whoop, loads of people dying at school. Um, been lots of fights around Milter, Milter Power on the way in. My plan is just to go to Ferry Pier, loot up for a little bit and kind of uh, see what happens. Not much really going on. Caught in the red zone. I mean, I think... I think that guy just killed, killed by the red zone there, actually. But I know I've got my buggy, so it doesn't really matter. So the core of the D23 strategy, if you search my YouTube channel, you'll see it, is get a vehicle, um, get well away from the flight path, loot um, at your heart's pleasure to get everything you need, when the first circle appears, as the blue comes in, go to the edge of the first circle, loot up somewhere safe, somewhere quiet. A second circle appears, get there, loot up somewhere safe, somewhere quiet. Third circle appears, drive there, and at that point you go everywhere else on foot. 
So here we go. So as you can see, the circle's coming in. So I'm going. So I'm thinking kind of, you know that if people drop over here on the left-hand side with this sort of uh, circle, they're only going to, by, by the time it comes to this sort of time, 51 people left 15 minutes into the game, they're, they're not still going to be hanging around here. They'll have moved in because people love loot, so they, they move in. So I know if I head over this side, probably I'm going to be okay. Um, so I come over here, I do a little bit of uh, looting there and plonk myself down on there here. And here I've got a really good view of the... Um, of all the central section here i'm keeping an eye on behind just in case anybody comes up behind me as you can see those there's, there's nobody there if we move the map slightly we can see we've got lots of people on around the mountain a few people in south georgie loads of people coming from sort of north of pachinki a few people coming through shooting range down that way and uh, let's see what happens as we play it through so i'm just waiting 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 blue comes in now the next circle appears as you can see the third circle is close enough for me to literally just crawl forward so normally if it had been over here towards shooting range at this point i would have jumped in a vehicle and and, and driven well when the blue car i mean i would have, I would have driven in but i don't need to so i stay on foot so all i'm doing again here is i'm just checking my, the back just making sure that nobody can creep up behind me because people stay in the blue still quite a lot in this sort of stage um, we can start to see the movement there. People are looking at these buildings in and around Gatka. You know, people love to be in houses in solos. Near the end, they love to camp. Look at these two guys up on top of the mountain. Very suspicious. They're so close together. So everybody's moving in. The blue's not moving yet. I do. But at this point, what I th I'm worried about whether there might be somebody in these two buildings here. And I'm also worried about the fact that this is really clear ground over here. I don't want to be running across these fields. But at the edge where this road is, you pr you're, you're probably aware of it anyway. There's a bit of a what we might call a defilade. So there's a change in height um, of the of the geography. So you can kind of run along the edge of it, and then the road flattens and it drops again. So basically, it means that I'm shielded from up hospital ways, and I'm also shielded to some extent from Gatka. But it's a lot better tactically to move along this road here on foot than to run across these these fields where people can see you from you know, hundreds of meters away. So I start moving this way with the idea of when the next circle appears, I, I can move. Because what you should be thinking about a lot of the time when you're playing PUBG, especially in solos, is not completely about the circular in but what will happen when the next circle appears because if you're playing the edge you can almost guarantee that the next circle isn't going to be on top of you every time it's always going to move away so if you've got to move towards the center of the circle how are you going to get there safely so i move in now and i'm, I'm what it is there's a house here and i'm just keeping an eye on that house because i'm worried someone's inside it and if, i know that if i start moving along this road here and they're already in here and, here, and i go first they're going to just shoot me in the back I'm being very, very cagey, waiting for the next circle. Right, next circle has appeared. At this point, I'm a bit like, right, okay. It's not a disaster. The circle is quite a long way away. But normally, with from, from to, to the fourth circle, you can always make it on foot, no matter where you start from. The only thing you've got to watch out for is getting involved in gunfights. Because if you do get start, if you get involved in gunfight around this sort of area, you can get caught in the blue, and it does start to hurt very much. As for what's going on, you can see we've got a few people playing the edge around here a few people on the mountain loads of people in these buildings just you'll, you'll be aware of these i think there's a series of like three or four buildings just there they'll all be fighting each other or hiding in different huts somebody's over there uh, there's a supply drop that somebody's gone for so what you see now if we start it you'll see me start to move now because i know i've got to go early i can't wait for the blue i've got to move early so i'm a bit nervous but i start moving up this road towards the circle and I'm listening out now because at this point you can hear lots of gunfire. So I'm thinking, right, where are people? Where are people? Where have I got a, a, a safe way to move where I'm going to see them coming and they're not going to see me coming? So I move along, I move along, move along. Blue starts coming in, so now I've got to be careful. But I can hear gunfire up here uh, south of the mountain. I can hear gunfire at Gatka. But there is some nice cover over by Gatka, so I kind of head over that way. Right, let's zoom in a little bit more now. And there, I'm kind of on the edge of Gatka, get caught in the uh, in the blue a little bit. And I just move in now, and I'm just round the side of a house. Now, there is lots of gunfire going on here, so I'm a bit like, ooh, you know, what's going on? 
Next circle has appeared, and I'm like, again, I'm like, oh, this is this isn't great because it's quite a long way away. It's not a disaster though. We, you know, with this patch we've had now, you don't find you get circles hard over. What I do realise though is that there's gunfire around this way, so I don't, probably don't want to come around here. And I know I have just come from this way, and nobody was shooting at me, so I know if I can maybe sort of wheel back this way, and then the the ground really rises up to these houses where I can hear all these people sh sort of shooting each other. Zoom in a little bit more. Here we go. So let's see what happens. So I'm I'm healing up <laughs> here while these guys are all shooting each other. I can hear them all shooting each other. So I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, and now I know I've got to go. And you see, I come back this way, because again, this is the way I came from, so nobody's going to be there with the idea of working. There's quite a lot of cover through here as well. See that guy on a motorbike zoom straight in. And now I work along this ridge here. So there's a drop from the road to here where these houses are. I think I see that guy in front of me. I know I see a guy jump out of this house. Blue comes in. That point. Did I get... I think I just zapped somebody there, didn't I? Did I just kill somebody? Let's go back a little bit. Right, yeah, I kill somebody here. Don't I kill that guy who's in front of me? And then I know the blue's coming in. Right, I shoot at that guy and injure him, but don't kill him. Right, so now I'm in. Now, this is a tricky one now, because it's very open in this area, but I can hear so much gunfire from the sort of the north, northern side of the um, circle, but I can't see where people are. So I think, well, if I make a break around this way and use the bushes as cover, maybe I'll be okay. So now the next circle appears. Again, it's a long way away from me, so I know I've got to go fairly early. I know this area is all open, but I know I've heard, heard so much gunfire this way. I'm very aware that people might be coming from this direction, um, but as you can see on the map, there isn't anybody there. So I kind of, you see me dipping around, zoom in a bit more, dipping around to the south, coming in, they're all shooting each other up here. We're down to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of us left. And then, little do I know, but I've got quite a good position. Now, this guy zooms across in a motorbike. So I know where he is, because he, I think he stops around about this sort of area, I think. Let's see see where he goes. Dunk. Right, yeah, so he stops there. I'm crawling along now. Everybody's moving into the circle. People love these buildings, so then they're congregating around this sort of area. Let's just slow this down a little bit. And I'm on my belly, just creeping in, just think, thinking about position. These guys are shooting each other. Right, next circle appears. Now I'm quite I'm quite happy about this because it's quite close. Although I'm in a very open area, you know, I can crawl in on my belly and and be safe. I know it's it's not that exciting this sort of play. And I can hear all these people sort of shooting each other and generally causing uh, havoc. I know that there's a guy here um, where his motorbike is. Right, so they all start moving in, circle comes in, and then yeah, you see, I shoot that guy there who's just uh, on the motorbike. And then I'm very lucky because I can hear these guys shooting at this house here. Let's zoom in a little bit more again. So I've just shot the guy in the motorbike who's got the motorbike there behind the rock. And there's these guys in the house. So as you can see, I mean, I didn't know, but I knew there was some there was people up here because we're just down to three. And the, you can't see it very well on here, but there's actually a rock there. So I shoot him and I know with the circle that if I get round to this rock, I really got the circle. So I immediately go early and then wait here. So now I'm just looking to see what's going on. I know there's probably someone in the house and there's somebody outside shooting each other. I do have a quick look to see at some point to see if he's got any grenades because I don't kill anybody. This guy's just waiting, deciding what to do. This guy's healing up. He comes round to look in. Again, I, don't, I haven't seen this chap, but you can see I'm just looking, 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 looking. Right, now, Blue starts to move in. He moves, he starts shooting at me, hooting at him, and I see him. Sorry, I see this guy inside and shoot him through the door. Bang, and I get the kill. At this point, I also know this guy's been shooting, and I know he's probably been hit, so I think, right, that's it. I'm going to go in, I'm going to finish him off. Um, I've been using the Mini 14 all day for distance. I'm going to use the amp on this chap. And then as I run up, we both start, as soon as he starts shooting at me, I know where he is. He ducks behind a bush, probably because he's quite, well, we're both quite injured, to be honest. So I just spray down the bush, bonk, that's it. He's dead. Winner, winner, chicken dinner on Miramar. On uh, Erin Gell. Loads of fun. And uh, there we go. So hopefully that's an interesting 
uh, example of the D23 strategy where as you can see so the plane came over this way I went south got a vehicle went to went to um, Prim Primorsk and then made my way up to the circle then in on foot uh, five kills uh, it was a fun match so they're always a bit boring early on those sorts of games but you know it's a chicken dinner and I think it's a it's a valid strategy for improving your chances of winning anyway that's enough from me put your questions and comments down below if you enjoyed the video hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe thank you very much and I will see you again soon